The Hazel Area Cougars are playing like a speedy locomotive completely out of control while destroying anything in its path. Hi, everybody. On this middle of the month, St. Patrick's Day Eve short shots. Stormy Daniels might be picking up much momentum, but not as much as the Wilkes Cougars. I mean, Hazel and Area Cougars, of course, who wore Wilkes uniforms on Wednesday night. Everybody thought the Cougars should have wore the home white since they were a uh, higher seed and better record. But it is what it is, and it was what it was. Game over, and the Cougars have rolled once again to move on. Joseph Jammers are 25-1. and one. Let's review. Last Friday, the Lady Cougars lost to the Chamonix 42-20 at Berwick. Marissa Tribal Peace and Maddie Morocco each tallied seven points, but it wasn't until the final three minutes that Morocco's three got her to the 1,000-point milestone. Gabriel's gals ended their season at 15 and 10. Also on Saturday in Hershey, Shane Noonan of Hazel ended his junior season just one win away from a state medal. But what a terrific season he had at Hazel Neria. Then on Saturday evening, also at Berwick, the Cougars played a tremendous game against Norristown while winning by 17. Four starters were in doubles, led by Joey Gruller's 19, before another great Hazleton crowd. Same day, the Weatherly Lady Wreckers lost a toughie against Christian Academy, scoring the game's final 10 points to win 49-43, despite Emily Zoshin's 20 points in a losing effort. Weatherly finished their campaign at 16-9 with a district title, their first crown of any kind in 32 years. Then, of course, on Wednesday, the Cougars kept rolling by defeating Pocono Mountain West 69-50. Jeff Linus led the way with 21, and Demir Faison added 17. But it was Sparky Wolk who provided the spark that tied that victory all together with a great floor game and 10 points. Wow, what a huge win. You could just feel the electricity in the air multiplying. Everyone is coming together in the region. I can honestly say that during the last two ga Cougar games, I have run into several people that I thought were deceased, mother of God. And I'm certain that tomorrow at Bethlehem Liberty, more of the walking dead will appear, and that will be absolutely wonderful. Hazel area is now a part of the elite eight in the state, something that State College, Reading, and Plymouth White Marsh are not. A win tomorrow afternoon would put Hazel area in the final four that would make next week gravy and crazy. Let me close it tonight with three yes or no questions and answers that you might have about tomorrow's game. Will the Cougars wear Liberty uniforms? No. Will Hazelton draw the most fans? Yes. Will the game be on TV? Yes. Enjoy March Madness. Till Monday, be a good sport. Stay loose and happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Good luck, Cougars.